You may think that your wedding photos are great, but you have nothing on these people. Come with us while we show you 34 greatest wedding photos ever. What? We have haters? Where at? Your support is greatly appreciated, especially in a time where people just hate for the fun of it. Melanie Tizer, you got us motivated. Number 34. Not a care in the world. Even though some people freak out at weddings, that doesn't mean you necessarily have to join in with the crowd. Be like the little ring bearer in this photo who clearly doesn't have a care in the world, especially not for his mommy's new dress. Number 33. A cake me. Some brides are total divas. That's where the name Bridezilla comes from. We imagine that the diva bride in this picture might just fall into that category. Why, do you ask? Is something about the miniature cake version of herself? If you are going to make a cake out of yourself for your wedding, at least include the groom too. Number 32, the view from here. You can see from this awful wedding photobomb that this wasn't the best position to get a picture of the bride and groom. Since the nearly naked man in the photo is so close to the edge, we think it would have been pretty easy for this photographer to crop the man out of the shot if they had just tried a little. Number 31, a mouthful of fist. Sometimes secrets you had wanted to stay buried come up when you get all of your friends and families gathered together. One of the secrets that shouldn't be brought to light, we're looking at you bridesmaid, is just how big of an object you can fit into your mouth. Not a very classy move for these two, but a very nice photoshop indeed. Number 30, property damage. When the wedding party you see pictured here made the decision to throw the groom up into the air, no one even bothered to judge the distance between them and the low hanging ceiling. That groom's going to have one heck of a headache. Number 29, not what she expected. Judging by the look on this bride's face, the ring she got from her new husband was not what she expected. Since we assumed that the proposal came before the wedding pictured here, like most marriages, we are rather surprised that she hasn't ever even seen the ring. Number 28, rolling in style. Normally people walk down the aisle, occasionally some people dance. The guy you see rolling into this shot takes the cakewalk, literally. He's probably wearing a little less than he should in the clothing department, but we get that with an entrance like this one, you need an exceptional outfit. Number 27, the guest list. When discussing the guest list with your significant other, sometimes tough decisions need to be made, like the two gentlemen you see pictured here. Do they really need to be invited to this party? Is their presence really contributing something here? Number 26, married at Mickey D's. Millions of people love McDonald's. So much, in fact, that they choose to get married inside of one. While that isn't the hopes for the majority of us, we suppose the happy couple pictured here is content with each other and a couple of Big Macs. Number 25, bad timing. Beach weddings are coveted by a lot of couples. Understandably, who wouldn't want to get married on the beach? However, to make sure you don't end up like the pair that got washed away in this photo, be sure to check things like the tide schedule, which, while not always entirely accurate, still gives you some sort of idea when the tides are coming in so that you can adjust your time effectively. Number 24, happily ever after. Seeing as in the movie Shrek, Fiona and Shrek end up both staying as ogres when they marry because Shrek loves Fiona just the way she is. The whole story is actually really sweet. We understand the reasons why couples would want to emulate that love, but we think it's a little crazy to paint yourself green like the couple you see here. Regular humans can have a love equally as strong, without the tint of green. Number 23, let me be your server. As a bride, you have the most important job of all. On top of that, unless you have a maid of honor that rocks, you're pretty much stuck doing everything else yourself. That being said, just about the only job a bride doesn't have to do is serve food or cake to her guests. The lovely bride in this photo decided to give herself another job when she agreed to wear this awful wedding dress. Not only does she get to be the blushing bride, but she also gets to be a part of the wait staff too. Number 22, whoops. The mess pictured here is a little more than just an oops mistake. By judging the distance between the offender and the bride, we feel like he has tried to shorten the gap by tossing his drink. In this case, he wouldn't even be able to use that excuse since there isn't a trash can anywhere behind the bride. Number 21, a beautiful bride. This might just be someone pulling an elaborate prank by dressing up as a woman. A bride at that. Or the man in this picture might really identify as a woman. Either way, the man bride you see in this picture is hands down the most beautiful bride in this video. Number 20, fly away with me. We can't tell what sort of material this bride's dress is made out of, but whatever it is, it gives her the appearance of a feathered bird. That might have been her intention, but we can't tell if her new husband is dancing with her or simply just trying to throw her into the wind. No need for a divorce if she just up and flew away, right? Number 19, swans are swimming. Swans, doves, and other birds, while they add a nice touch to the magic of the ceremony, are rather difficult beasts to control. They are wild animals after all. The jumping swan you see in this picture is just one of the many reasons not to have live animals attend the celebration. Number 18. I have something after this. We don't understand why the person pictured here is dressed the way they are. Obviously, they had some place uber important to go after attending this wedding. Why else would you bother dressing up like this unless you had somewhere spectacular to go afterwards? Number 17, tears are falling. 
If you were to just look at the face of the bride, you wouldn't think that there was such a dilemma going on in this photo. However, since the groom is standing right next to the bride, it's sort of difficult not to see the crazed look on his face. Her reaction was much calmer, but his is absolutely priceless. Number 16. Perfectly Posh the man in the back of this photo obviously picked the perfect moment as well as the perfect face for this epic photobomb. There's nothing quite like having a beautiful moment ruined by your brother-in-law in the background. Number 15. He's 6. Do you remember seeing older people kiss when you were a little kid? Gross, right? How old were you? About 6? Yeah, we were about 6 too and we made faces like the grown-up you see pictured here. If you felt like that about the kissing part, dude, don't even think about what happens on the honeymoon. Number 14. Moments gone. It looks like the perfect moment that was supposed to be captured here ended up in a watery grave. As you can see from the picture, there was just too many people on too small of a bridge for this to have ever worked. Number 13. The loneliest one. The person pictured here is a representation of how most of us are going to end up. Whether you want to go with the notion that there isn't a person good enough for you out there that you had to go and marry yourself, or you haven't ever found that someone to actually put up with you, you might just end up looking like this person on your wedding day. Number 12. A fairy tale catastrophe. If you look at the unicorn horn fastened to this horse's head, you might be inclined to think that this woman went to a lot of work to have a fairy tale wedding. Unfortunately, the horse in this picture clearly had other plans for this photo shoot. This picture shows you the exact moment that things began to go awry. Number 11. Busting a move. Pulling out all the stops to try and bring a bridesmaid back home with you seems to be the goal of the entire event for some. If that's the case with the man pictured here, he should have worn some sturdier pants because he's not bringing anyone home with those busted bottoms. Number 10. Getting cold feet. You can tell by the face the man in this picture is making that he has probably figured out that he doesn't want to get married after all. The look on his brides is so neutral, it's like she expected this to happen. Which leads us to the question, why are you marrying a big man baby? Number 9. Clothing optional. For the heavily tattooed man you see pictured here, clothing to this wedding was an optional choice. We think he might have made a wrong decision, but to each their own, the bride looks happy either way. Number 8. It's all about placement. In today's world, where something can be shared over a million times at the drop of a hat, you need to be very aware of the image you're putting out there. Things like placement, as you can see from the horse rear end in this photo, is everything. Instead of a fairy tale photo, like she assumed she was getting, this bride ended up looking like she was photoshopped onto the hind legs of a horse. Number 7. Auntie Wino. We've been over the fact that there are just some people that shouldn't get invited to the wedding. It is, after all, a classy event. So regardless of whether or not they are family, people like your Aunt Sharon who has a well-known problem with consuming too much alcohol should just be invited to stay home. If not, you might just end up with more than a few drunk guest photos like the one you see pictured here. Number 6. A funny meme. We all recognize the cake toppers in this photo because they are both hilarious memes that have brought, together with worlds of satire, tears of laughter to millions of eyes. How do you have the most epic wedding of the century? You get yourself a cake topper like this. Number 5. Poppin' Bottles There really isn't a better occasion to celebrate than that of a wedding. It's a day filled with love that ends in a huge party with all of your closest family and friends. Unless you don't like to have fun, alcohol at these sorts of functions is kind of a given. Just make sure not to end up like the unfortunate groom in this picture, who just made a huge mess of himself. His new bride looks less than pleased. Number 4. Not the best way. Summoning Satan is probably not the best way to start any relationship, especially not a long life commitment like marriage. We don't know if the wedding guest pictured here was there to show support for the groom or the bride side of the family, but we do know that this was the one friend whose invitation should have gotten lost in the mail. Number 3. Only in America. As Americans, we have gotten used to the fact that some of us tend to be more redneck than others. Not to point any fingers, but we think that the bunch in this wedding photo falls into that category. She even has matching panties. Number 2. The hilarity ensues. Wedding photobombs are some of the best photobombs out there. It must be something about having the thousand dollar photographer's work foiled by just about anything that doesn't belong in the wedding album. Kinda like the squirrel you see pictured here. Number 1. Not taller than the bride. The bride pictured here clearly has a thing about heights. Who knew that being short would be the actual height she preferred? Happy wife, happy life, we suppose. Curious about anything else? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! better.